Hi, my name is Jose Arvello. I'm a solutions architect at Accelerator Solutions. And I wanna, what I wanna show you today is the integration between Netscaler and Netscaler Insight Center. For those of you not familiar with Netscaler Insight Center, Netscaler Insight Center can be uh, utilized to collect metrics for, uh, for HTTP traffic, web traffic, and for HDX traffic as well, right? So it gives us visibility into the end user session. So if somebody were to call you and say, hey, my session is slow, you want to go into Insight Center to try to investigate. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to a Netscaler gateway from Insight Center, I'm sorry, from, uh, from my Netscaler, and I want to go to virtual servers. And then what I want to do is I want to select my, the virtual server that I created for remote access into my Citrix environment and hit edit. From there, when I hit the edit button, and then I want to scroll down and expand more. And from here, what I will do is I will actually enable AppFlow. So AppFlow is a protocol utilized by Netscaler um, that uh, allows Insight to collect uh, metrics from Netscaler, right? This is the, one of the most important things that you can do from your Netscaler configuration. Once you've enabled that, obviously you wanna hit OK, save your, configura your configuration, and then you wanna log in to your Insight Center. Once you're there, you wanna hit Configuration the top, and you want to go to your application list, and you want to hit view and go to VPN. And from here, you want to select the virtual server uh, that was created on the Netscaler, right? So at this point, there's been a little bit of integration done. We've added the uh, Netscaler to Insight Center, right? Um, so that's why you can see this. So then you want to hit ed, uh, action, Enable AppFlow, and you want to in, uh, type in true into the text box. You want to make sure that the export option says ICA. So this is what's going to, uh, the other piece that we need in order for us to collect data from Netscaler. And once that's done, you're going to see that under the Insight column, we see the enabled word. So let's log out from Insight Center. And now we actually want to launch a user session. So we launch a user session so that we know we're actually capturing uh, data through Netscaler onto Insight Center. And now I want to log back into Netscaler Insight Center. And I want to expand HDX Insight, right? This is what gives me metrics into my Citrix sessions. As you can see, I actually have data now, right? So I have two users logged into the environment. If I hit applications, I can see what published applications are running, right? So I see there's one user that has uh, Word open. I can go into desktops and see who's got virtual desktops open into the environment. I can see what the data center latency, I can see what the ICA round trip time looks like, so on and so forth, right? So I have really fancy looking graphs and stuff. Um, that uh, I can look at to try to troubleshoot a problem. So that is Netscaler Insight Center and Citrix Netscaler.